Dear brothers and sisters, our catechesis today deals with another great monastic figure of the Middle Ages, St. Odo of Cluny. Attracted by the Benedictine ideal, Odo became a monk and later the second abbot of Cluny. At the beginning of the ninth century, Cluny was the center of an influential movement of church reform, and Odo, by his example and teaching, did much to further the spiritual new renewal throughout Europe. His writings reveal how deeply he was influenced by the monastic virtues of contemplation, detachment from this world, and longing for the world to come. Odo was particularly devoted to the Eucharist, emphasizing the real and substantial presence of Christ under the species of bread and wine. This conviction of faith led him to work for the reform of the clergy and to stress the need for a worthy reception of the sacrament. An authentic spiritual guide for his troubled times, Odo blended the personal austerity of a great reformer with a constant and joyful contemplation of Christ's infinite mercy. <laughs> 